Hey everyone, today I'm tackling a few leaks that has been a recurring headache on my excavator. When I first noticed the issue a few months back, I did a quick Bushman fix to keep things running. Unfortunately, that fix didn't hold up and the cheap hoses kept failing in multiple spots. So last week, I finally had enough and went through the painful process of replacing every single fuel line. As with most of my new BDIY projects, I also learned some interesting tidbits about how injection engine works along the way. Let's step into how it all went down. When the fuel line broke the first time, it broke here. As you can see, it's about to break again. <clears throat> I was right in the middle of uh, digging, so I don't have a, a new hose to replace it and I don't have the time to deal with that. I did a Bushman fix. This is what I did. As you can see, um, this hose used to go under the engine and then come up here. I, I figured there's a reason for it. Uh, it must be a heat concern. So lo and behold, it, it is. So as you can see here, I added some um, like a protective buffer here and melted this uh, like um, what foam as you can see uh, from the heat so add this additional one so I can continue with my work the reason I ended up routing it up to here because I don't have enough lens when I trim this off because I want to use the same hose I don't have a new hose at a time I always intended to replace it with uh, a real fix just, you know, it's not like a one-off thing and just this thing happened. No, it's definitely um, cheap quality as you can see here, everywhere. It's just about to, to break. Not only this one, this one um, start to leak and, you know, crack up. And this, the other hose, this is a shorter one over here, also crack up. Mm, this is... <laughs> few are already coming out as we speak i'm glad I'm, I'm replacing it now i already trimmed this and replaced this this is a joke maybe anyway jeez okay i am replacing the hose now so i went to another store a long time ago and bought this new hose when you squeeze on this one it's like you're squeezing a you know, steel pipe when you squeeze on this one you can feel that you can you can squish it so the the quality difference is uh, it's day and the night. I guess this is the curse of uh, good quality hose. Because it just does not want to go in. It's so hard to push it in. Yeah, for this one, even I soak in hot water, boiling hot water, and this hose was scorching hot. I was not able to push it all the way in. I would really like to push it all the way into here. But I'll take that for now. I didn't realize I have a bigger challenge lies ahead. So in order to access the back side of the engine, I have to remove this yellow cover. I don't know how I can do that. And in order to remove the yellow cover, I can see I need to remove the cabin. I need to lift the cabin. I don't have a train. So I don't know how that can be done. This is going to be a trial and error. You know, in the two weeks, I've been thinking about what's the best way to do this. Um, based on my observation, this yellow, this cabin is sitting on the, the yellow cover. I may have to lift it, the, the cabin in order to remove the cover. I also tried my wife's suggestion to remove the back bumper, then try to remove the yellow cover. That didn't work either. So the way it is set up now, uh, in order to access the inside the, the hose behind the engine block, it's probably 10 times more 
complicated than I originally planned. I thought it was like a 15 minutes work just to replace hose. The good news is I ended up doing this time times safer than I originally planned. I mean, when I what I planned originally, I was going to set this uh, two by four even higher. Maybe I have to do a four by four uh, just to be safe to go the way up and I hoisted the the cabin. I'm glad I ended up not having to hoist the cabin. You know, I got the idea from my wife as well. She said, "Why didn't you just uh, hook uh, hook it up on that uh, loop?" on that hook and just uh, pull this way. So I use ratchet and pull this way. Now the cabin is tilted and I can lift the yellow cover enough so I can work on it now. Now the uh, engine cover is open. I'm going to start looking at other things as well, as well. And everything needs to be replaced. All the holes needs to be replaced, like here, here. I mean, all the hoses so need to be replaced. And also for the radiate, for the AC, I think it's starting to make sense a little bit now. Um, one viewer commented that he has to order a different uh, fan blade from uh, Amazon. And he said that fan blades blows air this direction. And if I understand it correctly, based on what I see here, this is a radiator. I think this is the uh, heat exchange for the AC. Uh, my understanding is uh, the fan is blowing in the wrong direction. So it pushes hot air towards this uh, condensing unit. That's why the AC is hot. Now the cover is open. Uh, to order that it will still be several days, but I need the machine, so boy, tough call. So, oh, the crappy line is coming out. That's a few everywhere. Oh, it's just long. Just came back from a Napa store, learning something new on each trip, and this was uh, what I purchased the last time. And the gentleman told me this is for fuel injection. He said I don't necessarily need need this. And he recommended this if it's just for regular fuel fuel line. And this is a this is a different one. I don't know if there's any other marking. But he said this should be sufficient. SAE30R7 fuel line. Yeah, that says fuel line. And this one, I think it says it's fuel injection. He said, yeah, this is a fuel injection. Yeah, fuel injection hose. So he said, I really don't need this. <laughs> you know, I need this. I use this even on the radiator. <laughs> He said that's not necessary. I noticed the uh, old line, the original line, has no marking on it whatsoever. So it's really some cheap crap. So why are there two, two fuel lines goes to the fuel tank? Oh no. This one goes to the fuel pump. I suppose that goes to the, the fuel pump and it goes inside the engine. And the other one comes out of here and it goes back to the fuel tank as well. No idea. What the heck is this? There's that little red thing. What in the world? I know what this is because this is not the quarter inch the the nozzle I guess so they need to put in a, a smaller tube so I need to reuse that as well so 
Okay, so this is the only good news since this is a crappy <laughs> fuse line. I could just peel it off like this. I'm gonna reuse in the new line. But there's a <laughs> good thing you like about this crappy fuse, you can just uh, peel it off and insert it anywhere. Um, the bad thing about the new hose is it is so tight, nothing can go in easily. Now there's a little insert, the adapter from the quarter to whatever the interior size. I am unable to insert the thing entirely in whatever the original piece. So I'm going to just cut it here. Um, I think it will work fine. Since now there is a adapter in the metal, I cut it off and this end goes to a quarter. Yeah, this end goes to a a thicker line that comes back to here. So I'm gonna have to use the same adapter. So this is a quarter side. I think this is the thicker, whatever it is. Um, I want to say three eighths. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's a thicker. It's a thicker and a quarter line. So, I think what I'll do is I will adapt it to adapt it at here. I will re adapt it at here at this section. So, if I need to work on it, I can work on it easily in the future. An adapter, it's a one-way valve. I can blow this direction, but I will not go this direction. So I suppose this is uh, for the fuel to return to the uh, tank for some reason from the engine. Okay, let's cut it. But a leak. Ah. Ah. Oh, I can't do. This is the check about. Okay. I think uh, what I'm gonna do before I start up, I'm gonna check with the jet GPT. <laughs> I don't know, I don't have anyone to ask if there is a check about flowing this way. What is it for? If it makes sense before I start it up. Like I said, this is how you learn right at the moment. <clears throat> so I look it up online, also check with the chat GPD. So there's a diesel engine typically has two fuel lines connect to the tank. Once the supply line, as I suspected, it comes here, goes to the engine. The other one is the return line and it has a check valve. Now it all makes sense. The check valve should go only this direction from the engine to the tank. I believe I installed the check valve correctly. Now I can double check. I'm glad I installed it here. Go, just confirm. This has an arrow goes this direction. So it is uh, correctly installed. I'm so happy. Just to sum it up, I replaced a total of uh, seven sections of uh, diesel fuel lines plus one section of the uh, overflow tank. This, for the seven of these uh, fuel lines, you can see five of them here. So one, two, three, four, this one, and this little one, five. And there are two long hidden ones. This one is the supply line that it goes back to the fuel tank. And actually it's the supply line that comes in here. And this one behind it here is the return line for the fuel injection engine. And that one has a one-way check valve on it. 
now this is all done i think that the way to remove the yellow cover is just to remove the the bolts here 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 and and on the other side too on the other side i don't think you need to remove this uh the bumper um then what you should do is you need to go to here just uh, loosen up those three bolts then you can rig a ratchet uh, just on the top and use the ratchet uh, to hook on those uh, loops and pull the other way then this uh, cabin will tilt that will allow you to lift the yellow cover then you can access the engine i think that's the way to do it well after the hose repair i was able to drive the excavator down here and also did a little bit of digging and this is where the next uh, digging project will be thanks for watching if you like the video please uh, hit like and subscribe thank you